Hi everyone, welcome to Acres of Clay. Today we are going to be heading to a local mill to pick up some dry corn because our earlidge from last year is all gone. All so got, All gotten gone. Yeah, and so we've got to start feeding some dry corn um, until we get earlidge ready. So earlidge, um, I plant some real early day corn early. Um, this year it happened to be a 99 day corn. And uh, it's just starting to dent, and we are like the 20th of August. So I'm hoping here, uh, if it follows the same plan kind of as last year, that within a couple weeks here we should be able to run some to have earlids again so I don't have to buy corn because buying corn takes a lot of money out of the budget. <laughs> loaded and we have about 845 bushel on which is about the max that we can um, weight wise what we can haul on this so we're going to take it home and grind some corn what did a bird just drop on the roof and rolled off <laughs> <laughs> that's the corn grinding screen here. What makes that one any different? Different? Because if you look, it has very little holes in it. So it pulverizes it pretty good. And then it's a we small add mesh. Uh, a few more bigger holes to it just to help uh, help get a little more volume through it faster without compromising size. Put it in backwards. No. There might be a little chaff on that. So. So. Try it again. There we go. Everybody that has feed grinders that change the screen, they know about that. There. So now the screen's in, and then we, uh, there's a little lever here. If you look down there, that's what puts the. Uh, you had your whole hand in the way, but I that's know. your lever. That's my lever that puts the uh, hammers. It engages that big wheel, which turns the hammers, and the hammer's got to turn. I was reading on the list yesterday, 2,700 RPMs. Really? Mill, so. But yes, right now we're standing inside the hay barn. As you look, there's 
There's hay all the way around and we have this little spot that we have the tub grinder and then the tractor with the feed mixer right here. So, but yeah, it's uh, nice to have this type of storage now. It helps out a lot. Where we used to store hay is there just wasn't a lot of room. So uh, this is a lot better addition. You even got some storage up there. Yeah. We got a <laughs> little extra gas line and a skid of some miscellaneous parts. <laughs> so. Alright, we're going to get grinding. Back in the oil. Okay. This is where we put it. We like to put the uh, ground corn against this wall and the ground hay against that wall. So that way it works out pretty good. So now I'm going to go get the semi and back up. So the bay next to it, this is our mineral for the dairy. So that's dairy mineral. And then that's soy. We do feed some soybean meal, so that's what we have there. I think we have to order it actually for a couple days. That this will be enough for tomorrow. Yeah, okay. It depends on one angle, sure. Okay. This should be better. <laughs> 